What up, Factionistas? In the spirit of the new year and also the month of January, I'm starting a new series on my channel called Faction Forward. What I'm going to do with this series is I'm going to take the very first makeup looks I've ever done and I'm going to recreate them and tutorialize them here on my YouTube channel three years later. Looks that I'm going to create are all very special to me because they were really the very first moments that I was really ever proud of myself as an artist and I really told myself in that moment like, wow, maybe you could do this and they kind of ultimately led up to where I am today. Goal of this series is to really inspire young and aspiring artists to not really focus on their destination and to kind of shift their focus on their journey itself and to not really look at maybe it's their fellow artists or their favorite artists be it on YouTube or in the industry not to really focus on how talented and successful they are in this moment and to kind of think about their journey itself and that they did start off as amateurs. So I'm going to film most of these tutorials as a talk through video so I'm just going to sit down and talk to right to you guys and that's really almost in a goal to kind of bridge the gap between who I was three years ago and who I am today and kind of what I don't like about my original makeup and why I would do things differently today and to kind of explain to you why that is and kind of pick out what I almost didn't do right or almost what I didn't really quite understand three years ago and then we're just going to hang out and talk. The videos are going to be kind of long but that's I think it's going to be good because it's going to be packed full of all the information that I didn't have then. You know? So in addition to my YouTube series that I'm doing myself on my YouTube channel, I really want you guys to go out and find the very first makeup looks you guys have ever done and recreate them today, whether it be a month forward, two years forward, five years forward, whatever it may be. Use the hashtag faction forward so I can see them. We can all kind of hang out and make this cute little cyberspace place. Of, I, I think it's really inspiring to see people's before and afters, whether it be a month, whether it be two months, three months, five months six years, whatever it may be. I think it's really important and I think it's really beneficial to kind of see people's journeys like that and kind of, it kind of makes everything a little bit more real, if that makes sense. So definitely take to social media and show me what you guys got, okay? Okay, cool. Okay, well super glad we're on the same page, but without further ado, let's start the tutorial. Okay, so I'm looking at the reference image in comparison to my actual makeup book that I did also many years ago. And the one thing that I don't particularly like about this one right here is that it's a little bit more of a all-white face than it is more of a flesh tone like the reference image shows. So I think I'm going to keep it a little bit more of a flesh tone. And then I think I'm just going to kind of adjust how I did the shading and all of that stuff and try to do the nose with a little bit more dimension and a little bit more shading overall. So let's just do that. Okay, so I'm going in with a pencil. This one's from Makeup Geek, and I'm going to kind of just, I'm looking at the reference image first, and I'm going to kind of create the overall negative shape of the teeth. So inside this space is where we'll draw the teeth, and then above it, we're going to draw the cupid's bow, and then the round, the roundness of the lip around that. I kind of even would prefer them, I think, if they were, um, different but okay so this one I did a little bit too high which is the glory of using a pencil so I'm gonna do it a little bit lower and a little bit straighter okay so then when I look at the reference image you can almost find like an anchor point and you kind of almost want to line up so I can see that the lip one side of the lip kind of lines up with the nose the edge of the nose so I'm gonna kind of try to follow that And I don't particularly like how rounded that nose is on the reference image. So it's your choice if you want to change it. So then almost the smile line almost kind of dictates the chin. So just to draw like an overall shape of what I want the face to be. And then almost with the mouth itself, it kind of, it kind of wraps around and kind of meets right here. And then rounds out. There doesn't really appear to be much of a bottom lip. So my lips are bigger on my face than in the reference image, but I have a big face. And I kind of almost want you to see this detail more anyway, because we're going through all this work anyway, and it's kind of the focal point. So I'm going in with this cream uh, face paint from Makeup Forever. This is the, uh, the, the flash color stick. So I'm just going to take this color straight away and put it right into the lip. We could also add a little bit of this pink to this tongue at the bottom. Okay, so when I'm looking at the reference image, it's 
it kind of almost starts off true black, almost nothing, and then kind of fades into the roundness of the lip. So we're gonna add that in now. And I'm gonna take the same flash color stick that we were using before, but in black, and try to fade it off as it goes. I need to turn my brightness down, or you guys aren't gonna be able to see any of this. There we go. There's also gonna be a lot of shadow where the teeth meet the lip. So work that in. And then also on this outer corner where it meets the center of the lip. Okay, so we have that. Now I'm gonna just go back in with some more pink. And kind of use that to soften these lines up a little bit. And then now I'm gonna add a little bit of red. I'm now gonna set this with powder because I wanna start going with eyeshadows now. And since this is a cream paint, it's gonna move around. And that's kind of just like the intro. So now I'm gonna take a little bit of white. I wanna just get the geometric shapes kind of on there first. And to use that, I'm gonna use a waterproof pencil so it doesn't kind of get smudged around when we're uh, shading the lips some more later on. Okay, so now I'm taking Mayron's Water Activated Face Paint, and I'm going to just apply that to above my eyelid. So now I'm gonna take a small brush and some black eyeshadow, and I'm gonna start from here, kind of rounding out this mouth and bringing these shadows in. ever so slightly. And then with the blending brush, a very small one. Start kind of blending this in. We're gonna do the same thing on this side. I'll start going in by the teeth first. I'm now going to take a felt tip eyeliner just so I can get it really close and I'm going to start making these black lines. And then go back in with some more black eyeshadow to kind of help buff those lines out. I'm now going to go in with some highlights, starting these highlights right about here at the cupid's bow. I'm going to take a mixture of this red and this pink again. And we're going to kind of break up the color. I don't want this to be too flat. But then I also, don't, these shadows are a little bit too in the way. I'm also going to take some more of just the peach to kind of highlight this section of the lip here. And you can see I'm just dotting it in. I don't want the color to be too um, smooth and too blended. And I'm just applying some hard shadows now, like not smoothly at all. It's very erratic and like, you know, grungy, my favorite word of all time. We don't want any of this to be too smooth. So make sure and nothing's too blended. I also want to take a little bit of gray eyeshadow. I don't want this to be true black, and I kind of want to use it 
to very closely hug very thin, thin as possible. And not evenly, just very erratically around all of this. To kind of add some more dimension to the lip. Okay, jokey. I'm now going to take a dark gray eyeshadow, mix with a little bit of black eyeshadow, and I'm going to start diffusing out this black line. Because this does not need to be straight even a little bit. We actually don't even want it straight at all. Since this mouth's at an angle, the, the most of the highlight lines will be on the this side. Does that make sense? Hopefully it does. So we're going to kind of try to move this, the shadow from this one side. Okay, so I went and did this side on this side, obviously, and now we're gonna go back on this side. I know it's kind of shocking, but I kind of just gonna get a little vibe of what I wanted to do. Okay, so I'm going to start with the nostril here, and I'm just gonna take a little bit of a darker eyeshadow, and I'm gonna kind of gonna create uh, the, the whole nostril section. So I'm gonna take a medium toned eyeshadow, like a bit of a gray toned brown, and I wanna just kind of create two little semicircles that are going to be the nostril itself. From here, I want to start kind of creating the shading and the, the, the placement of the shadow around it, which is kind of going to determine the overall shape of the nose. So this is going to hug around the nostril area here. So I'm just going to apply some shadow and then loop it up. And then dragging it down, this is kind of like the cupid's bow or like the center of the lip. And then once you get that all in, I'm blending all this out. And you don't have to worry about anything being too smooth because this is kind of almost like a graffiti art in a sense where it's not perfect blending. It's, it's kind of just shadow. So yeah, and then so from here, we're going to take some more shadow on this nostril and then we're going to drag this over. And that's kind of the other shadow for the other side of that uh, Cupid's bow nostril area. And then I'm going to actually round this nose off a little bit. And then drag it all the way around to be the other side of the nostril. Okay. And none of these shadows are definite because we can go in now with highlight. And we can kind of create new shapes. Um, so I'm using this Make It Forever. Uh, cream stick. It's in a flesh tone color. And then I'm going to kind of just take it from the center of the nose straight down so we get an even nostril. I'm using the brush to make sure that the nostril is even. I actually kind of like the nose a little bit longer than the reference image. So I'm just going to pull this a teensy bit higher. Dokes. And then now we're going to take some black eyeshadow and I'm going to deepen up only a couple sections here. So it's kind of going to almost match the other side. This is really hard because I have to block half of my vision to do this without getting super close to the mirror. <laughs> so just bear with me. But you want to just kind of darken one side ever so slight and then also a little bit on this side. And then if it's a little bit too dark, you can just tap, don't move, and then just pull away. And then do it again, tap, don't move, pull away. And then since the shadows we made around the nose are all kind of the same tone, it doesn't really differentiate a little, a little bit in like darkness, <coughs> I'm gonna find a brush that doesn't have black on it. And we're gonna make these shadows a little bit darker. We're gonna use the same color, but we're just going to apply more in certain areas. And then I was taking this blending brush and I'm kind of diffusing any of these 
larger shadows out. Because the nose is quite soft compared to the rest of it. So I'm taking some water activated face paint. This one's by Mayron. And I'm kind of going to, everything that's not going to be anything at all, I'm going to kind of add black here. And then now I'm switching to a darker gray, and I'm gonna kind of start working on this line right here. And I'm gonna take some of these brown eyeshadows too and start kind of start contouring the nose a bit. So the smile lines are pretty much in all black. And it's the darkest section, so I'm gonna take some eyeshadow to really define that area. And yeah, you see what I'm saying? And then we can blend it out a bit. Using a different brush. And then with a smaller fluffy brush, we can make this kind of line that's right about here. That kind of defines the chin and the lip. So now I'm gonna take that cream again, which is this bad boy, and I'm going to apply that to the chin area to highlight it a bit. Okay, so I literally looked for my Scalera contact lenses. My all black ones can't find them anywhere. So we're just going to keep moving on with the face and I'll try again in a little bit. <laughs> so I'm just going to take the same peach colors that I've been using um, for my fake lips and put them on my real lip. And then I'm going to try to extend them out a bit. I have facial hair, so this is not going to probably be the cutest thing in the world. So now I'm going to take some of that red. I'm going to add like a teensy bit of black into this mixture because they're not dark enough to kind of make the inner part of the lip black. Yikes. Okay, so right now I kind of hate it. So we're just going to take some pink and red and peach and stuff and I'll hide it on top. Okay, I'm just gonna ditch. So we're gonna do. We're gonna ditch these because I hate them. And we're just gonna keep this crazy mouth. And I'm highlighting with that same flesh tone color that we've been using to highlight this entire time. I'm gonna use a little bit of eyeshadow to kind of enhance the shape of the nose. But okay, my friends, that finishes this tutorial. Is it weird to see me in full makeup talking? I think it is. Um, yeah, I wish I had Scalaris, but I think it's pretty cool. I don't hate it. The series is gonna continue. I got like three, I got like, a, I got about like three makeup looks planned out so far. So stay tuned, they're coming. I got a lot of first looks to do, and this was just step one. But I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye friends.